are about to play Minecraft. Yes, this week's challenge is a Minecraft build challenge. Are you excited, Jonah? I am always excited to play a bit of Minecraft. Oh, it's been so long since I've played Minecraft. So, what we're gonna do is we are each going to build our own creation. And then at the end, we're gonna get an independent person to judge who did the best. See my restaurant, oh. which is called Sandwich Place. In this, we've got a nice glass front and mix the uh, shop nice and light inside. I like that. Here we've got the uh, staff door. So we've got Jeffrey back there. Jeffrey the villager. Let's, uh, let's go inside, shall we? Nice and oh. clean and light. Here we have the menu item. We've got the fish. You killed Nemo! This is very reminiscent of an actual sandwich shop. Yes. Yeah. We've got this drinks maker. Unlimited refills. Now you can bring your sandwich meal over to this table. And if you uh, need a wee, then uh, there's a toilet in here. A uh, flush. And a uh, toilet paper. Wash your hands in. Jeffrey Amazing. Happy. Amazing job. Thank well you. done. Mm. We're going to do a quick aerial shot for outside. Yeah. So, uh, Very yeah. Very distinctive colours, isn't it? Distinctive colours, lots of light. We throw open these doors and check that our name's on the list. Yes. And so you've got plenty of seating. Please ignore this massive <laughs> spider. Uh, over here we've got our kitchen where the chef prepares all these wonderful mm -hmm. foods for us. It's all about the light, it's all about being classy, beautiful soft lighting. Just the perfect way to dine. What can I say? That is my restaurant. Cast your burdens on the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. People need connection. We all need someone to talk to, whether it's sharing our happiness when something great has happened or sharing our worries and sadness in difficult times. Everyone needs someone who truly listens to them and makes them feel understood. Whether it be with friends, family, or talking therapies. We need these relationships for our well-being. There are people who are there for you to talk to. You are not alone. And on top of that, there is a perfect listener available to all of us. God wants to hear our joys and our struggles. He wants to listen as we share whatever it is we need to say with him. Once I came across a man who was bleeding. He had accidentally cut his hand open and the blood had been gushing out for a few hours. I told him he needed to go to A&E, but he refused. He said the doctors wouldn't help him. But in reality, they were the people he needed to see. I wonder how often we do this to ourselves. How often do we cradle our pain alone? How often, in the difficult times, do we shut ourselves off from others and from God? And yet, it's in these really tough situations that we really need to share our struggles. There was an Irish poet called Joseph M. Scriven. He went through some really difficult times. The night before his wedding, his fiancée died in a tragic accident. 
heartbroken, he moved away to Canada. He found love again, but his second fiance passed away too. This man suffered and struggled. And yet, through all of this, he found the support he needed. He wrote his mum a poem when she fell ill. And it goes like this. What a friend having Jesus All our sins and griefs to bear What a privilege to carry Everything to God in prayer Oh, what peace we often forfeit Oh, what needless pain we bear All because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer Despite the pain he faced, Joseph took it to the Lord in prayer. And this doesn't look like 30 minute monologues or repetitions of Lord, Holy Father, I beseech thee that thou helpest me. It can simply look like speaking to someone who cares about you, sharing your joys and your sadness. It can look like waking up and asking for the strength for the day. Thanking God for each meal that you eat, for the amazing taste of chocolate. Telling God how you feel when something goes wrong. Telling him how you feel when things are good. It's not complicated and it's not long and tiring. It's just a chance to share your heart with the one who truly cares, truly understands and is always there. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. It's time for us to live it. It's time for us to talk about what's going on in our lives. It's time for us to share the ups and the downs. To share those things with the one who truly cares for us and who's always there. Step up to the challenge. Try praying.